So we have Colin Bevan here, the No Impact Man at Marist College. Hi, Colin. How are you? Hey, I'm good to be. Glad to be here. Hi. Um, so the first question is, what is something that Marist can do to reduce our environmental impact as a campus? Ah, well, a lot of times people want to start in the cafeteria or cafeteria, which is about trying to get the food locally sourced. Um, but there's something called the President's the University and College President's Commitment on Climate Change. Mm -hmm. And if your president hasn't signed that yet, then the students can come together to pressure the administration and get the president to sign that. And then that commits the whole college to reduce its climate impact. What are other colleges getting right in terms of sustainability? Like, do you know, there's specific examples of other colleges that are doing a really great job um, with sustainability? Um, there are, you know, different organizations. As a matter of fact, I'm speaking at a conference of sustainability officers, and different colleges are doing different things really well. Um, so some colleges actually have wind, for wind farms on their um, land. Some colleges are doing things about food composting. Some colleges have started their own farms. There's lots of things going on. Okay, now on to No Impact Man. What was the moment when you decided to take on this project? What sparked your idea and motivation for this whole project? I was really worried about two things. One was climate change and one was the wars for oil. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that people didn't even seem happy. So, um, so I wanted to find a way that would make, my, a way to use my skills to help contribute to finding solutions to the problems. What are some tips or suggestions that you have for college students who want to reduce their environmental impact without going to the extreme that you had to go through for the No Impact Project? I mean, for everybody, what I suggest that if they want to reduce their own impact is to find out where it kind of connects with their personal life. So, for mm -hmm. example, if you need more exercise, ride your bike. If you want to save money, don't drink bottled water. Nobody should be drinking bottled water in this country anyway, so that's one thing. If you happen to care about animals, then be a vegetarian. So what actually works for you? Like, how, what can you do that will work in your life? And start there. Thank you so much, Colin. Nice to have you here at Marist. Um, thank you for speaking today.